Good evening, everyone. Um, I wanted to give you first a report from the, the week of innovation that we just had. Uh, we, the nominees that you're seeing tonight and the winners are amongst a record-breaking number of submissions. We had 84 submissions, and they came from 65 companies in 15 therapeutic areas. And an evening like this, we don't get to hear about each of the inventions. And so we've had a week of 14 webinars in which each of these nominees gets to tell their story. And that culminated today, all day, in a scientific symposium which covered uh, a convergence of science and medicine and commerce and policy. We had a spectacular roster of panelists. It was really the A-team. And uh, the keynotes included Ken Frazier and Tony Fauci. So with that background, I think it's time to hear about the nominees in the category of biotechnology. Best Biotechnology Product. Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. Give Lari for treatment of acute hepatic porphyria, AHP, linked to production of toxic porphyrin molecules in the bloodstream in adults. Alnylam Pharmaceuticals, Oxlumo, treatment of primary hyperoxaluria type 1, PH1, to lower urinary oxalate levels in pediatric and adult patients. Amgen, Amovig, CGRP receptor blocker to treat chronic migraine. Amgen, Ivanity, treatment for osteoporosis in postmenopausal women at high risk of bone fracture. Amicus Therapeutics, Galifold, oral drug for treatment of Fabry disease through repair of gene-induced enzyme deficiencies that lead to organ failures, stroke, and early death in adults. AstraZeneca and Aichi Sankyo Pharmaceuticals, and HER2, treatment of unresectable or metastatic HER2-positive breast cancer. Biomarin Pharmaceutical, Polenzeek, lowers blood levels of phenylalanine, an amino acid that causes PKU, phenylketonuria, leading to brain damage and seizures beginning in infancy. Roche Genentech, Palivy, antibody drug conjugate for treatment of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. GlaxoSmithKline, Blenrep, treatment of adults with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma. Global Blood Therapeutics, Oxbrita, prevents inherited propensity for the hemoglobin polymerization that causes sickle cell disease. Horizon Therapeutics, Tipeza, treatment of thyroid eye disease, TED. Medicine 360, Laletta, an IUD to prevent pregnancy through timed release of hormone levonorgestrel. Merck and Company, Irvibo, first preventive vaccine against the disease caused by the Zaire Ebola virus in adults. Novartis Gene Therapies, Zolgensma, one-time gene replacement therapy for children under age two with spinal muscular atrophy. Novo Nordisk AS, Ribelsis, GLP-1 agonist treatment to control blood sugar in adults with type two diabetes. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals and Sanofi, Dupixent, single-dose pre-filled pen technology to treat adults and adolescents with atopic dermatitis, eczema, asthma, and rhinosinusitis with nasal polyposis. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, Inmazeb, treatment of infection caused by Zaire Ebola virus in adult and pediatric patients. Sanofi, Cablevi, nanodrug to treat adult-acquired thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, ATTP, a rare blood disorder. Takeda Pharmaceuticals, Taxiro, treatment for hereditary angioedema, HAE, in adults. I always have trouble opening these envelopes. It takes me much longer than it should. 
Well, the winner is Global Blood Therapeutics for Oxbrita for sickle cell disease. Accepting the award on behalf of Global Blood Therapeutics, Kim Smith-Whitley, MD, Executive Vice President and Head of Research and Development. Thank you. Um, this is not just a big moment for Global Blood Therapeutics. This is a big moment for sickle cell disease. I really can't start any comments without recognizing the team who's with me tonight, who was there when Oxbrita was born and envisioned the impact that would have on the lives of those living with sickle cell disease for generations. So I just would like to ask them to stand. vision to catalyze the development of the next generation of innovative treatments and technologies that will improve the health and save lives is one of the things that we at GBT share with Galian. Indeed, innovating to meet the needs of underserved patient communities is our reason to be a company. Frankly, it's personal for us. The, recogni the recognition represents long overdue progress that we're finally now seeing in sickle cell disease, a devastating lifelong inherited blood disorder affecting more than 100,000 in the U.S. and millions worldwide. GBT wanted to change that. Oxbrita is the first known as GBT 440, and then Voxellator is a hemoglobin S polymerization inhibitor that was discovered in 2012 and then was FDA approved in 2019. We are incredibly proud to have brought Oxbrider from discovery to the hands of patients. This achievement reflects GBT's innovative clinical development approach, invaluable insight from many stakeholders, and the strength of our partnership, including the team at FDA. I want to conclude with just a brief story about Muiwa, a 37-year-old gentleman from Durham, North Carolina, who struggled with sickle cell disease since childhood and moved from his native Ethiopia to come to the U.S. to seek better health care. He was enrolled in a pivotal clinical trial for Voxellator and still makes the takes the medicine today and is doing well. So I dedicate this award to the patients, caregivers, advocates, our clinical investigators, and other members of this community. I want to thank the relentless team at GBT who will work day in and day out to discover, develop, and deliver innovative medicines to those who need them. Together, we will continue to turn scientific breakthroughs into meaningful advances for sickle cell and other rare diseases. Thank you once again for this honor.